All right, uh, how do we add or update rows in Google Sheet? Well, we have this N8N node here that says um, add a new row if it doesn't exist or update an existing row if a similar one is found, okay? For example, based on the ID, let's say, if we select it, we can see the credentials to connect resources and operations. Here we basically select the document, right? And well, here we already have some values. We'd have different values to send, like for the email column, we'd send a specific value, okay? We'd be sending or updating these values within the column. Right now, as you can see, I don't have any previous variables, but ideally we drag a variable, not use a fixed one, okay? Then in counter options, we have cell format where we can choose N8 N format or Google Sheets format. The usual approach is to use Google Sheets. We'd indicate where the data starts in the table. For instance, if there's a header row, that's the first row naming variables, right? Like A, B, and C, okay? Or message, link, etc. That's a header to label and identify each item. Then there's the first data row, which is where the actual information begins. That's how we'd set it up. Next is minimize apicals. It's about data interpretation. It's used with append, not update. It's more efficient, but can misalign data. Enable this to minimize resource use. Use it if your table has no gaps between columns or rows. That's how it works.